Hello world, Shelly here and it's time for another episode of Concealer Fest and today I am checking out one that's been blowing up the social medias. I am very thankful that you guys pointed this one out to me. Several of you mentioned this in the comments and in messages to me. This is the Fiera Luxury Concealer. Retails for $39.97 for half an ounce or 15 milliliters of product. It's getting 4.5 out of 5 stars with over 10,000 reviews. They say, Fiera Luxury Concealer is the only concealer of its kind for women over 40, providing all-day coverage that never gets cakey or settles into fine lines. Plus, working behind the scenes are premium skincare ingredients, helping to re reduce visible signs of aging and giving you firmer, healthier, and brighter looking skin. It only comes in five different shades, but they're in the ranges of shades. So we have light, beige, medium, deep, and dark. I've got this in beige. This is my life. This is my life. You gotta get down. You gotta get down, Ziva. Thank you. <laughs> so this is shade beige. Let's take a look at this one swatched against a few others in my collection. Swatch time. First up is today's concealer from Fiera Cosmetics, the luxury concealer in beige. Second, I've got from NARS, the Radiant Creamy Concealer in Vanilla. Third up is Tarte Shape Tape in Fair. And last, I've got the Maybelline Age Rewind, also in Fair. All right, let's take a look. Seems thick. So this might actually be enough for both eyes, I'm thinking. Probably too much product, even. But uh, let's start there, and I will do one side with a sponge and a blend. I'm glad I got this shade. I was debating between this and the lightest shade, but the lightest shade looked a little bit more yellow or warm toned, and I am neutral to cool, so I'm glad I went with beige. All right, right out of the gates, blends out nicely with the sponge didn't soak up a ton of product. I think we may get better coverage with a brush. Let's try. This is the BK Beauty Angie Hot and Flashy A506. And I do have a code with BK Beauty. It is for 10% off, Shelly10. You can find it in the description box below. And I love BK Beauty brushes. This is one of my favorite concealer brushes. I have two favorite concealer brushes. This one and the Sephora, whatchamacall, Pro Concealer 71, but they're very similar in that they've got that sort of taper to them. Uh, I actually like the BK Beauty one a little bit more because it's a little more fluffy. But yeah, those are my favorite concealer brushes. Yeah, you do get a little bit more coverage going in with the brush rather than the sponge. This looks super nice, super nice on the skin. I am gonna get just, I'm gonna try to get the squeeze tube. It's kind of hard to get just a tiny bit, but I'm just gonna try to get just a tiny bit to even out my coverage just a little bit. That would be my only complaint so far. Not a fan of squeezy tube packaging so much. I'd rather have a, an applicator, a doe foot, but it's fine. It's all good. So let's just even out this coverage, get some into this crazy trough of mine in my inner corner. This is smooth looking. Let me look closer. Let me make sure my eyes are not deceiving me as Ziva falls off the back of the chair. <laughs> I don't know, can you see her? Oh my gosh, Ziva, you have to go, you have to go. All right. This, I would say, is a satin natural finish, so it's not super matte, it's not dry looking at all. Let's zoom in, get a look at this one. I would say, currently it's not settling into lines, it's not doing any dryness, it's not caking up, it's not, it, it, it's a very emollient kind of a formula, so it is giving a little bit of light reflect, I'm guessing as it sets down, we will have a little bit less of that going on. I am wearing like some dewy skincare today, so 
yeah, just ignore all the noise. I was even knocking everything off my counter. But, yeah, it's very skin-like. It's, I, I kind of can't tell that I've got any product on. I, it, oh, your tail. Oh, my goodness, Ziva. Ziva, 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 you gotta go. She's gonna knock the camera over. This is just gonna be a day. I can feel it. We are, we are having a day. We are having a day. Yeah, I'm, uh... I'm pretty shocked at this one. Uh, so you know how I used to say that my beloved Charlotte Tilbury Magic Away Concealer, which has been discontinued, did this sort of spandex thing under your eye and just made everything, like, put a veil of clearing over, like, smoothing over any kind of lines? This one's not, not as quite there, but it is probably, I'm gonna say the closest to that that I've seen in any other concealer that I've worn, and I am probably hyping how much I loved Magic Away because I can't get it anymore. I have my last tube of it is like, oh. <laughs> but I'm pretty, I'm pretty impressed right now. Let's see if this holds on. Let me go put the rest of my face on. It is 12.15. Let me put the rest of my face on. I will be right back. Back with the Fiera Concealer. This stuff is lovely. If this holds out for the rest of the day, I will be so excited. It is smoothing, it feels hydrating, it does not look heavy or cakey, it's not clinging to any of the dry skin or the patches that I have going on at my temples. Like, it is looking nice. I have everything else I'm wearing linked down below. I'm gonna go about my day. I'll come back tonight and we'll see how it held up. 11.58 p.m. That puts us ah, somewhere between the 11 and the 12 hour mark. Let's take a look at how the Fiera Luxury Concealer held up. It's lovely. <laughs> I think the coverage is great. It did not settle into lines. It did a good amount of smoothing. Nothing has moved around. I think the coverage has stayed pretty well intact. It hasn't faded too much, just a little bit over time. And it still looks hydrated. Nothing looks dry, nothing's cakey. I'm really impressed. Let's zoom in so you guys can see what I'm talking about here. So, you know, as product tends to do over time, there is a little bit of coverage missing. I can just start to see a little of my purple darkness coming through, but it's very minimal. It, it, it looks as if it's my skin. Like, I really feel like I can't see it in my lines. I can't see it sitting on top of the skin. It just looks... Nice, it looks really nice still. And my right eye, my non-nose ring side, that eye was tearing out of the outer corner all day long from my allergies, and it still held up well. It just really doesn't look bad at all. I think the coverage has stayed nicely. I think it feels hydrating, it doesn't look dry, and I've got dry skin happening right now, so I'm I'm kind of I'm kind of flabbergasted at how much this is lovely, how much I like it. So if I had to give a grade to the Fiera Luxury Concealer, oh the only thing I wish is it had more shades and it had a doe foot or an applicator of some kind. Those are my only complaints. Uh, I gotta give it an A. I think it performs wonderfully. I'm kind of dumbfounded. It's pretty doggone good. And I had never heard of it before. And now I've heard of it. And I'm I'm very pleased. I'm very pleased. Thank you for those that pointed this out to me. <laughs> this kind of product makes me think maybe I'll start wearing concealer again. You know, I was like settling with foundation and not having as much coverage. But I wasn't having to deal with like found or concealer getting cakey on me or anything. This one's lovely and it's got the coverage. It's got it's got the cover. It's it's lovely. It's lovely. There you have it. 
Another episode of Concealer Fest is in the books if you had fun with this one. If you like concealer reviews, give me a thumbs up down below. Let me know in the comments what concealers do you want me to check out. Like I said, I haven't been wearing too many concealers lately, so I've been just using my foundation for concealer. But boy, if they're going to be like this, I'm, I'm here for it. I'm here for it. Let me know down below which ones you would like to see me check out next. And as always, thanks a lot for taking some time out of your day to geek out over makeup with me. I appreciate your time and I hope you guys all have an awesome day or night wherever you are in the world. Take care of each other. Bye-bye.